So here's a quick little recap of what we did. Um, to start off, basically, what you want to do is, come to the top, there's going to be 12 total uh, push pins. There's going to be six on this side and then six on that side. Pretty much you just pop them off. There's, there's a tool that you can use or you can use a flathead uh, screwdriver for it. Um, once you get those off, you'll have access to pull. Well, you have the option to pull this up so you can push the wires through to reach the destination, destination that, that needs to go to. So once that's done, all the push pins are out. Next step is to pull out the snorkel. So the snorkel's right here. In order to pull them out, there's gonna be these tabs right here that you have to push down and then pull out at the same time. Some of them, it might crack a little bit, but you'll still be able to use it uh, once you take it out. So um, once the snorkel is out, you get the LED snorkel. There's four wires total. It's gonna be red, black, um, yellow, and green. Uh, the main wires that we're gonna need is the red and black. Black, both blacks from both snorkels were, are gonna need to reach to a grounding point, which we're gonna use right here. This is a 13 millimeter socket. Just loosen it and then put the black wires into it. Um, tighten, it tighten that down and then the grounding will be done. For this side, for the hot wire, you're gonna wanna connect it to the white and orange, which is gonna be the side marker. So whenever your side marker is on, your snorkels are gonna be on. Um, once these are connected, the last thing I did was got the yellow and I attached it to the uh, white and tan wire. The white and tan wire is gonna allow you to turn the snorkels orange to match your normal amber lights whenever you signal or use your emergency lights. Um, once this side is done, you just wanna wire manage everything. You could tuck everything under here. Um, you are gonna, uh, you're gonna need to unplug the harness, which is down here on the back side of the headlight. This is pretty easy. You just push down the tab and then pull it out. Um, from there, once that side is done, you're gonna move on to the next side, which is over here. Same process, these tabs are gonna be out. All six tabs are gonna be out. You'll be able to pull it up. Um, same thing over here. The one thing I didn't mention is that there's gonna be a black ballast. It says LED on it. Just get double-sided tape and stick the double-sided tape on it. You can use Gorilla 3M. And then once you have it on, just peel the tape and then stick the ballast up to this part. There's gonna be a flat part on the underside of this plastic part. Just push it up and it'll, it'll be able to stick. Um, once that's done sticking, uh, it'll just stay there. It won't move anywhere. Pull the wires out from the top here. Just pull the plastic part up. You'll be able to access it. Um, same process with this side. The only difference is that there's gonna be different wire colors. So for the power, you're gonna wanna tap it in or solder it into the white and brown wire, which is gonna be the side marker for this side. Um, again, once you turn on the side marker, the LED lights will be on. Um, it is optional if you want it to be amber or not. If you want it to stay white the whole time without turning amber when you signal, just leave it like that. Just plug it in, just ground it, plug it into the brown and white or orange and white on the passenger side, um, and you'll be good. But if you did want it to be amber, you'd have to get the yellow wire, which will be what you'll see when you open the package. Get the yellow wire, tap it in to the white and green, and then it'll turn yellow or it'll turn amber whenever you signal. So. That's basically it. It's an easy install. Um, quick little process, but we'll put a list on what tools you may need if you're going to install at home.